feeling indeed forsaken and abandoned by God. And the prophet speaks this word of assurance that even if a mother could forget her child, God could not forget us. And so this is cause for us to listen to the words of Jesus as he tells us not to be anxious and not to worry. He knows that we are worriers. This theme is sounded throughout the gospel. Most notably, we can call to mind Martha and Mary and how Jesus says to Martha when she is complaining and discouraged by Mary's seeming indifference to her plight. Martha, Martha, you are worried and anxious about many things, but Mary has chosen the better part and she shall not be deprived of it. And she has chosen the part of sitting at the feet of Jesus and listening to his word and receiving the truth of God's love as it is revealed and manifested in Jesus Christ. And this is what we are called to do, my friends. We are called, indeed, to come and grow in our awareness of God's tender mercy and love for us as it is manifested in the person of Jesus. And Jesus tells us that we must seek first the kingdom of God. He knows well that indeed we are often anxious about what we are to eat and what we are to drink and what we are to wear and what does tomorrow hold and will all turn out well. And he says, trust. He does not assure us that all will be smooth sailing. His life does not point to a life of ease. It is a life that is quite demanding and quite challenging, but a life that is filled with peace and with purpose and direction. This, of course, is what we are invited to as disciples of the Lord, to walk in his footsteps, to face the challenges and stresses and difficulties of life with that awareness that we indeed are never alone, that the Lord is always near, and that our lives have meaning and purpose and direction. As we celebrate this installation of a new pastor, we realize that as a parish community, as a parish family, we begin a new chapter. Whenever there is a new leader, there's a new beginning. But the new beginning must build upon the strong foundation that has been established. That strong foundation must be built upon with great hope, with great trust, with the enthusiasm that comes from the spirit that has been poured into our hearts, with that awareness that each and all of us are stewards of the mysteries of God's great love manifested in Christ Jesus. We don't know what the future brings, but we are filled with confidence that if we keep faith with the Lord, the Lord will bring our efforts and our work to fulfillment. We may not always perceive it at any given moment, but we are called to be faithful to the mission that has been entrusted to us. We are called to be faithful to our celebration of the sacraments to be faithful to our firm faith in the forgiveness of our sins, that indeed we falter and we fail and we sometimes miss the mark, but that we are always called to humbly turn to the Lord and to receive forgiveness and to allow his reconciling love to heal us and to raise us up 